<laughs> knowledge, <laughs> nonsense, reasoning. <laughs> all right, so all right, so we're gonna bring it to the top. We're so hi guys, we are starting a boy band here, and this and so welcome back to knowledge, nonsense, reasoning, and we are back. It's Friday, aka Friday. Hey, so we're here, we're in the studio, and we got a knockout of a guest today, man. Uh, and it's actually our second time ever repeat guest. First time in the same season. La- Last time we had him here, he broke some news for us. Some news that, well, really really hit us hard, you know? And now we are here to follow up on that. We have your new champion of 305 Promotions, Jacob. How's it going, man? How is it? No, I, well, I'm doing, I'm doing fine, man. I, I, I'm happy to be here. I think, I think we know how it's going for you. It's going pretty well right now. It's going pretty well, man. Absolutely. So let's, you know, let, let's talk to the elephant in the room. Let's milk the cow. Let's move it. You're the fucking champion. Middleweight, right? Welterweight. Welterweight. Yeah, give it, welterweight. Give, give us some details. Absolutely. We are the welterweight champion. 170, man. It was a good what? night. Good night. 170. Yeah, it was a well, solid night. It was a solid night. Well, before we, got back, before we talk to the night. How, how was the road there? How was training camp? How was how was cutting? How was all of that? Because you're you're a big boy, dude. I don't think 170 is your walking weight, is it? Um, so like I I said on the last show, I used to be 252. Yeah, yeah. And then I got down to you know my first fight was a 205, second fight 185, and then we were going to 170 for the title fight, you know, for the third one. Um, but. That fight was originally supposed to happen for a different promotion, and it was supposed to be a number one contenders fight, and it was supposed to be at 185 in, in June, but I broke my left foot. I broke my cuboid and my calcaneus, so I was out. The doctors told me it was supposed to take a good six to seven months to start healing, um, that, or four to five months to start to be completely healed, and then two months of rehab within... Three and a half, four months, I was back in the gym already wow. doing rehab, like on the go, yeah. because I had talked to 305 about a 170 title shot. <clears throat> so we made it happen. Um, the road, the, the training camp was hard, man, uh, but it was great. It was fun, you know. I trained, to me, at the best gym in the world, Freedom Fighters MMA, man. Give them a look at Instagram. I was Come a shot by and train with us if you guys want to train with us, man. We're world class. It's hard work, so you got to understand that. But it's a family. And, you know, all my training partners, we got Louis Estash, who's making his 170 uh, professional debut next Saturday for Titan FC. Wow. We got, uh, you know, that's one of my main training partners. Yeah. And we got Marcus yeah. Loreda, who's 16 pro fights in. That's another one of my training partners. We got Francesco, uh, who's the number one contender at BKFC right now. 175, we got, dude, Justin Vasquez. Who's you guys are, you, Oliver. Yeah, no, like, you guys, guys have some heavy hitters dude, there these for sure. Are my, these are the people I'm training with every single day, I day mean, in, day out. We got U- U- Ulysses, who's fighting also on Saturday. Lupe, <laughs> the Dynamite Kid, who's fighting yeah. Sunday. These are the people that I'm working with day in and day out. So, you know, some days at work are hard because you got a whole bunch of killers in the room. But, Absolutely. yeah, but they get you ready. So... You know, I caught a choke, and my voice actually, I, I like, did something to my vocal box. And my voice got um, significantly, like, raspier and lower for, like, a solid month. And the doctor was like, well, it might stay like that. And I was like, hmm. <laughs> and I, I can't scream anymore. Like, I used to be able to scream really high, like, bitches. I can't do that anymore. I lost that for this. The, and and those are the sacrifices of a champion, man. And then it goes back to the people that you just talked about. You just talked about like, like we're like we're personally fans of like some of those people because like we follow the fight scene. And yeah, of course. But and so like if that's a competition that you're surrounded like well not competition but you know what I'm saying in the gym because in the gym whether those are your brothers whoever it almost feels like a competition because you're all competitors at the end of the day. 100%. You all want to put nobody wants to be the person who worked less. Yeah, worked the least. That's never the, like, you don't want to be that guy. No. Whoever wants to be that guy. 1% better every day. Every day. Every that's day. That's how you get ready for the fight, man. Absolutely. And, and you're here you're here working with guys who are, have been champions, will be champions, you know, literally. And so so 
basically you are who you surround yourself with, man. Yep. And and from starting and and you've been this, you haven't been in this game for an extremely uh, long amount of time either. A year and four months. Come on, man. Tomorrow, I think. Come actually. On, look at that. Like, so so to be surrounding yourself with with that class of co- of competitors, that I think that says a lot about what about what they think about you and the work and the work that you're showing as well, and then about your voice box. That's fucking terrible. But you know what? Fuck it. We don't need to scream in here. <laughs> exactly. But. But that's crazy, like those sacrifices, and, and then with your foot going through training camp for that, and then weight cutting, all that, can keeping going. It's man, like it has to feel rewarding at that point to see like the valid, almost a validation in that. Yeah, at the fight after yeah. uh, uh, his mouthpiece went flying, and we, yeah, we saw. I tagged him a couple more times. Super necessary. Super necessary. Super necessary. Three piece of soda, you know. Exactly. So, you know, I guess there's like this, uh, what do you call it, a stigma going around? Absolutely. Amongst the MMA, uh, amateur MMA, like Florida community, that uh, my first fight, I took him down. I submitted him. Second fight, I took him down and I controlled for three rounds, ground and pound. You know, didn't do as much as I wanted to, but I got the job done. So it was like, oh. If you don't let him take you down, what is he going to do? So, wow. and funny or not, I, I can just, I can say that like, there's no set game plan, but in my head, the the easiest way was to, you know, take him down. And then when I just, you know, I let everything flow and I let the fight play out and I, I was able to come up with the TKO and, I I got on top of the cage and I almost broke down. You you were there. We're, you guys saw it. I was like, I started covering my eyes and I was like, damn, yeah, it's overwhelming. I, you know, it makes me feel like the knockout was more accomplishing than the belt because the belt. This is this is the first of many that I want throughout my career. So this is this is already old news to me. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I enjoyed it for the the solid week, two weeks. It, it makes two weeks tomorrow, mm-hmm. but. I already want another one, you know? Absolutely. And then after that, it's, you know, we got big plans. But the knockout was like, okay, we're here. We got one submission, one decision, one knockout. Mixed martial artist, you know what I mean? And it's a confidence booster. So. Absolutely. You want to be game bird. You don't want to be Ben Askren, right? Okay. That's that's the, if if we really got to throw a metaphor there for that, yep. I think that would be it. And, but see, but, even that self awareness, man. Like that's what change, like that's the difference. You're like, because you could have easily done that. It, you you, you show them to be competent in that type of style. Hey, can, can we just take a quick break? Because uh, I'm gonna switch out your chair, Raul. Because that shit's squeaking like a mother. What was it like in that locker room before that? It's it's the main event, your third fight. You you have a title on the line here. <sighs> that, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> How was that locker room? Uh, quiet, man. It was quiet. They had us um, separated. So you, as you guys know, it was I was the main event. Uh, the co-main event was for the featherweight title, and then my um, my training partner, Georgie Cald- uh, Caldaz- Caldaza, I'm sorry, was fighting for the flyweight championship. Two fights before me. So in the locker room, it was me, him. And one of the challengers, the guy who um, unfortunately didn't get the job done yeah. for in the co-main event. Yeah. So it was just us three kind of waiting, you know, waiting, waiting. And then so we were talking, we were doing that. Our coaches came, we warmed up. You stretch, you get a sweat in. You you want to make yourself out of breath, kind of recycle your lungs. Yeah, That's and just get it. into the hat, like yeah, get into that zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're sitting there, whatever. Georgie goes out. I'm just, this guy uh, that's going to fight right in the Coleman event, he's yeah. going crazy on the pads, and I'm just trying to stay loose right now. And, you know, he's about to go up. I hear the crowd going crazy. And my coaches aren't even in the locker room. They're with my teammate. Yeah. And then my co, uh, the Coleman event starts, and no one's back in the locker room yet. <sighs> it's So I'm by myself in that little locker room. And just to put it into, like, a... A picture for you. The, yes. the locker room's like um, 
You ever been in like indoor suspension in like high school? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like the CSI or what? Yeah, yeah, CSI. Super quiet. She, yeah. And all you can hear is the air blowing. And I know the pencil drops. There's a big mirror across the wall. So I'm walking, I'm looking at myself in the mirror, and I'm just like, I'm ready. Like, I did all of this. We're here. We're here. Let's do it. And I'm, I'm like, you know, I, before all my fights, I, I, you know, I pray really quick. And then I think about, you know, my teammates, my friends, my family, and then we make our way to the cage. But it was just, it's that waiting. It's that there were 12 or 13 fights before me. And you're fine, 1 through 10. 11's meh. 12 is, you know, a little more. But when that co-main event comes on and you know you're next, it's like. <sighs> but I wasn't, it wasn't. It was the anticipation that was yeah, killing me. Yeah, like, no, no one's doubting scared. that you felt prepared. No, no, yeah. no, no one's doubting that, but just that's a big, that's a big picture to be in. Yeah, no, but I was scared in my other two, like, nervous. Like, it, you get, like, this kind of nervousness. I wasn't nervous for the fight, which was weird, which I usually am. I'm a nervous wreck, whether it's a jiu-jitsu tournament, a wrestling match, or a, a fight. I've always been like that, but this time I... It was like a calm. Mm. You're, you're, we're here. Yeah, we're here. And I just wanted it to happen. Wow, you went out there. You got a great pop, by the way. I, oh, the crowd. Yeah. The crowd. Got, the crowd went fucking wild for you, man. We, shit, dude, bro. We were there. Wild chance, yeah, bro, bro. We were there, fucking lo- losing it for you, man. We were, we were there, like we were literally just fans at that point in time. Like, like, like. Like, fuck our friendship, whatever. We were just like, oh, my God, this guy's going to fucking do it. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. No, absolutely. And then John from Coach Rinkolas. Big shout out to John from Coach Rinkolas. He's over there on the ones and twos. So he's a real funny guy. He's a real, real funny guy. So cool. We're just there yelling nonsense, like, you know, obscene idiots, nonsense, whatever. And then Miguel, uh, on an- another great part of our team here at Knowledge, Nonsense, and Reasoning, through him, as John likes to put it, the Dwayne Wade LeBron alley oop. Is that how you put it, John? Yeah, that's exactly how I put it. Absolutely. So he so was this what like the beginning of the second round or like the end of the first round? What would you say? I think this was the beginning of the second round. Uh, Miguel comes up to me and he says, "Tell Jacob that his opponent likes to have his mom pack his lunch for him." <laughs> so. In that in that instance, I said, "Hey Jacob, this guy's a pussy. His mom packs his lunch for him in the morning." That's not how you said it. <laughs> huh? No, no, yeah, he, he he told me he told me he told me one way. I just said it the other way. He yelled it. No, yeah, he yeah, yelled it. I yeah, yelled yeah, it. yeah. I yelled it. I lost my voice the next day. You can ask Raul. No, literally, like he he was not answering my phone calls, just exclusively text. Yeah, because he wouldn't hear me regardless. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate you guys, man, coming out, showing support. No, absolutely, bro. What? Like, what, what, well, we're not going to have you on the show, bl- blow a bunch of smoke up your ass, and then be like, yeah, we're not fucking going. That would be. Th- I hope you guys had fun, though. You Dude, we had a ball, man. We had a ball. Like, we literally got there, like, five fights before you, like, six fights okay, before Okay, so you had enough time to sit down. We sat down. We got a couple beers. Vibe. We got the yeah. vibe. The venue was super nice, man. Shout yeah. out to 305 for the... Uh, yeah, dude, 305 Fights, bro. They did a great job on the on the whole show, production, man. Like, it was great. Yeah, 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 dude, like... From the card to the production to the venue. All of it. it yeah, great. dude, like, it, it ran very smoothly. Yeah, yeah man. No, so, but, 30, but 305 Fights pulled off a great show, man. It was fun. It was just... It was entertaining. And it just... It, like... It, I felt involved as a crowd member. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. So. I felt involved as a fighter. I would hope so. I would, so, um, so, fight starts, main event. You're out there. Yep. You looked a little getting the getting comfortable for the first round. I don't know, like like the the, uh, the announce the announce when the when the, the ring announcer was yeah. when we were both in the ring and we're walking back and forth. Man, that part is like the. That's it. That's the like, ultimate smack to the face. Is like you're here, and though, and uh, the thoughts. I was, I was. I actually caught my mom. Like I saw my my mom. Oh no, that's terrible. Oh dude, it was the worst. That's fucking terrible. It was the worst. I was walking. I was pacing, you know, in my corner. I'm the, I was the blue corner, and I'm pacing, and I look into the crowd, and I don't know how. I didn't catch anyone else. I just caught my mom there. She's filming in one hand, and she's like. 
other hand is covering her her mouth and her nose, and she's oh cr- like holding back tears, and I'm just like, okay, sorry, mom. Yeah. No, like okay, now I gotta kill this guy. Yeah, for real. But yeah, no. Nah, so round. so f- that that's a first round. Yeah, no, like the first round, like as a f- like I speak purely as a fan, like yeah. and just watching it. You looked like you like you look like you're getting comfortable in it. You're like, okay, fuck, I'm here. Like, it looked, it literally looked like it just hit you all at one time, also, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know what your corner told you between rounds. I don't know what the fuck was said. If, if you want to say it, you can. But I don't know what happened. But, bro, you you came in there, like, from one round to another, you went, you stepped inside that phone booth, and you came out w- wearing a cape and a giant S on your chest, man. Because that second round, you came in on a fucking mission. <laughs> Literally. Like, what? Like, you got the TKO in, what, like, the first two minutes, no? Um, 102. I 102, right? A minute, maybe Change. 12 seconds. Yeah. Wow, bro. But you came in there on a mission. Like, what, like, what happened in between that, in that corner? Um... You want me to talk about the first round, or you want me to talk about in between? Well, or the whole, well, well like the whole. a breakdown of it because I'm sorry, you came in on a whole, like, yeah, dude, not just not like your body language, everything. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, the first round was, um, first round was, was I wasn't there, like, in my, like, I, I get in my head and uh, I wasn't like executing. You know, you got to be smart. You got to throw your feints. You got to, you know, you got you got to stick to the game plan. You got to yeah. you, you fight. You're yeah. there to fight. And I wasn't there to fight. I was just, like, my body was physically there. So we get out there in the first round. And by the way, shout out Aldrin, the guy I fought, because he took that fight on a on a week notice. A week? No- wow. A week a week notice. Sure, yeah, a week. A week, a little, maybe a couple we'll days more. We'll, we'll call it a week. Dude, if you take a fight on short notice, you're, you're a stud. A fucking you're genius. a fucking stud. So, straight yeah, up. shout him out, bro. Absolutely. Dude, Aldrin Mayorga, bro. Straight up. Yeah. Respect to him. No, and absolutely. His, and his camp. Because um, he took it on, like, a week notice. Uh, my original opponent pulled out. You know, got COVID. It happens. Yeah, and that he was a cool dude, too, but... He pulled out, and Aldrin actually beat him. Prior. Yeah. The the guy that I was supposed to fight lost to Aldrin. And then he got COVID, and Aldrin came in. And I just I spent a whole training camp for the first guy. And then at this point, it was like, fuck it. I trained this hard. You know, I was in and out of the hospital for, you know, I was with like a 105 fever for like a week. Wow. You know, my foot was fucked. My yeah. voice was fucked. We're here. It was yeah. too far not to, to, to cancel the fight. So I was like, all right, Aldrin, it is. You're not giving up at that point. Yeah, yeah. And also, in your head, you got to be like, all right, if this guy's willing to take this fight. He thinks he can beat me. Yeah. Yeah. That, was that, like, that, that has to be a he, thought process exactly. as a competitor. Come on. Like, we're not, look, you guys aren't here fucking playing patty cake doing arts and crafts. At, at the end of the day, you guys are literally here getting in a cage, competing. All respect afterwards. You ha- All respect afterwards. Absolutely. And what you're showing it, you know? Hey, yeah, out, man. Uh, Jacob, if, if I can ask, how was it preparing for this guy with that one week's notice compared to training for, you know, your other opponent who, who bailed out? At this point, absolutely th- nothing but changed because a, a week left the fight. Mm-hmm. All you're doing is, you know, a lot of work with, with Mono, uh, my, my head coach, staying sharp, cutting the last five, six, seven pounds and just – Staying healthy, make sure you don't get any nagging injuries the last week. Was there any difference in game plan? No, at that point it was just go yeah. in. You can't fight. like you don't have time at that point. Yeah, yeah. so uh, you know, I think maybe that was a. You don't need a game plan, but it helps. It it might help next time a little more, you yeah. know. And that's that's on me, because you know my coaches did suggest it. Suggest it, and I was just like, okay, but. I immediately just, you know, didn't. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, no, we're we're here already. We're sticking to this. Yeah. So the first fight, um, the first round, um, we get out there and like I said, we start. We st- the bell rings. We touch gloves. I throw a jab, and he threw something. Didn't even hit me, but I was like, fuck this, and I went to take him down, and it didn't work. Yeah. Didn't work the first time, and I was like, okay. 
you know, and I just, I was sloppy. My hands weren't up. I wasn't throwing combinations. My I wasn't setting up my takedowns. And it just, it's not a true representation of what I can do. Even the second round where I went out there and I knocked him out wasn't a solid representation of what I can do. But the first round was just, it was sloppy and it was bad. And, you know, sorry, guys. Like, I sincerely apologize for making everyone sit through that first round. I mean, I was happy to be there, so yeah. you so you <laughs> definitely don't have to apologize to me. And but but in between rounds. But but like but that that's the thing, like even if you're not proud of the second round, bro, I'm sorry. You the killer instinct exuded off of you. Shout out to my coach, bro. Bro, absolutely. He dude. sat me down in between rounds and he looked at me in the eyes while my my other coach Ray is you know, he's doing the eyes, yeah. he's doing all that stuff. And Mono goes he does that, he snaps. Yeah. He looks at you like into your soul, and he's like, "Platanito," like that's what they call Burnic, me. Yeah, yeah. He's like he's like, "Look, you're here, like your body." He, he touches me. He's like, "You're here, but you're not." And then he touched my head, and he's yeah. like, "But you're not here. I need you to be here. You throw your combinations, and you know you can beat this guy. This guy shouldn't even be in here with you, but we need you to do what you do every day." And I was like, "Good idea." <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. So I went out there and double jabbed immediately, and I could like you could see it on no, his face, bro. We saw it. That it's was crazy. Yeah, the first time, and then you know we had him running in the second. Uh, I rocked him again with a right hook, and we had him running, and then slip into a left hook, sent his mouthpiece flying, and then they stopped it, and that. That was that, bro. But and that was that. It just happened so quick. Like, yeah. Yeah, no, like, and then to go back to, you know, the, like, the way that you felt about the first round, to go, to go that, like, even if, like, I'm, so, like, I'm sorry, like, even if you're not proud of that second round, fuck that. Like, you, I get it, because you're a competitor, yeah. and, and you have to hold yourself to that standard. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, you don't have to. Well, you should. There's a lot of people who don't. But see, but that's why they're not yep. getting it done. So, you don't have to, but it's kind of like the way that you don't have to brush your teeth every morning. You, you kind of fucking do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, you know, like, it was just, it was just very impressive to see that, th adapting to that. Yeah, the adjustments. I'm the happy. adjustments. Because, yeah, like, the victory was cool, but those adjustments stick with you. Yes. Yeah, like, because now you know that you can adjust. And even then, that has to be a confidence boost. You're moving forward as well. Just, again, you... you you put it well. You already won the belt. Yeah. But those lessons that you're learning, Me those more. adjustments, they're going to take you farther. They're going to take you to where you want to go. You know, that, like, does that make sense? 100%. Absolutely, man. And then, cool. You won. You're there. You're sweaty. You're, you're like, fuck, finally it's fucking over. How, how, do, how do we celebrate as champion? How do we celebrate? Shout out to my boy Bruno from the gym. Absolutely. What, he doesn't what? fight yet. One day he will, and I, I had told him, ever since I started my weight cut, about two months before the fight, which wasn't really a weight cut, I was at 205, I needed to diet down, but there was no room for error. So, and I, I had saw the commercial, I don't know if you guys have seen it. <laughs> Drop it for me. Snickers with a brownie on the inside. I haven't. You haven't? I have it's not. It's like a Snickers... Snickers bar, but instead of like the the cream caramel, uh, caramel. There, there's caramel, oh. brownie, and peanuts. And I had been craving it for two months, wow. and I was like, Bruno, <laughs> I need you to throw it into the ring when I win. And he's all the way in the back. <laughs> <laughs> he had two, so he had two shots to do it. Oh my god! And he did. I won. They're announcing. Did he make both? No. Oh, they're announcing. Okay. Me as the winner, they put the belt on. And then my coach surprises me with my blue belt. Coach, you know, Ceviche, right? Yeah. He's putting the blue belt on me, and I'm so happy. You know? Oh, my God. I'm getting my blue belt. Fuck, yeah, this is great. But out of the corner of my eye, I see a shadow. And I'm like, no. <laughs> no. And it misses the cage. No. And then I see another one. And it hits the cage, and my boy, uh, you know, Sasquatch, he's one of... Uh, I'm loving these nicknames, by the way. Thank you. 
Yeah, we were. We I were, love them. I think they're great. He's big and hairy. No, n- n- no, no, like I'm being dead serious. No, I'm being dead serious. I love him too. Not like they're very personal. Yeah, of course, we're family, dude. Uh, yeah, no, dude. Like I hate like 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 sh- like sh- cliche that thing names like oh that's a big guy named Tiny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Fuck all that shit. Like these are like nice personal thought out nicknames. Hundred percent. So you were saying Sasquatch? He gets caught it. it. He caught it. He caught it. He caught it. And as I'm getting the blue belt, I feel like I owe. Ray, like a five star dinner because when you're giving someone a belt, you're you're giving them this gift this, that they you know blood, sweat, and tears will sacrifice. It, it means so much. Absolutely. You're getting promoted, and my dumbass isn't thinking about this. I'm not thinking about the blue belt. I'm not thinking about my family who just saw me one. I'm not thinking about my friends. I'm like Snickers. I'm like, oh, by the way, the guy's trying to interview me after the fight. <laughs> yeah. So I'm getting my blue belt, and the guy's there with the microphone after his main event just ended, and he's saying something, you know? Who cares? Something. <laughs> yeah, something. And I'm like, Snickers. So I'm like, give it to me. He, I actually tried to walk away. He had to drag me in to finish putting the blue belt on, and I start eating the Snickers. And then whatever, Aldrin comes to me before he walks out of the cage. And I'm like, yo, wait. You want some? No, you didn't. I did. I was like, you want some? He's like, whoa. whoa. And, you know, he's like, he's still a little. Like, do you think you're fucking joking? Like, no, 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 oh. no, no. He's a cool guy. Oh, okay. No, but like, I would be like, is this a joke? Like, no, what's. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, thank you, I guess. Like, you know, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And he's like, what is it? I'm like, Snickers, but it has brownies in it. And he was like, okay. So I gave him half and he wow. ate it. And I was like, is it good? And he gave me a thumbs up. And that's camaraderie. Yeah. Wow. That was great. And then I, I ate the shit out of the rest of the Snickers. I hope you cherish that story forever. And I hope it brings people as much joy as it just brought me. Thank you, bro. That's such a great... <laughs> well, I'm always full of these stories. No, bro, that's so that's funny. I love this, man. No, it's so funny, bro. Like, you're there. You win the champ. You, you went through a fucking Snickers. shit. Snickers. <laughs> Give me the fucking Snickers now. Like, I, I, like, I'll trade you the belt for five of them. Fuck but it. the fact that he made the throw... I feel like no, but that was a team effort, though. Fight, yes. That that was a team effort because it went from Bruno to Sasquatch. He got yeah. it to you. But that's a solid forty-yard throw with a Dude. Snickers that doesn't really have the weight Wait. to get carried like. No, that. for sure. Like you have to do a fucking spire, like a hardcore time. And it's on video. Like, I have a video. You have a video of this. It. You gotta send that. To, you, you gotta send 100%. that to us, man. Absolutely, because we, we gotta show it to the masses. So yeah, then we you know I took the pictures with everyone. Um. Super good time, super good, you know. And then I got in the car, and I was like, even before I got in the car, once I saw my teammates, I was like, sorry. And they were like. <laughs> That's a weird th- thing to say after like, I win, yeah. Sorry. I was like, yeah. Uh, first round was, because in my head, you got to understand, like, you're supposed to be your toughest critic, and that's what I try and hold myself to. Yeah, absolutely. I thought I got my ass beat in the first round. Like, it was a lot closer. Than what it looked like. No, or no, than, than what, what you I felt. Than what you it, felt, yes. yeah. It looked a lot closer. Like, I had some people saying, okay, you might have dropped it. Okay, you might have won it. Like, whatever. You could have gone both ways from what I'm, like, I'm getting mixed reviews on it. Yeah. But in my head, that was like a 10-7, me just thinking. Ding, ding. But it, I guess it wasn't. So that whole night, I was just like, and I'm sitting there with my girlfriend and my dad and my uncle going to some food truck afterwards. And they're like, can you stop being a pussy? Like, you just, yeah. you did this. This is like the first, you know, this is like the first real thing that I've, like, this is. That's a big accomplishment. Yes. Like, you, a, like my first real achievement like, like this. You know in this I mean? sport. Yes. In a short time. Like, come on. Like, that's a, like. The efficiency and the accomplishment speak for itself, man. Yeah, yeah, but but you see, here, even to the day, I'm just yeah. like, fuck. Oh yeah, so okay, wrong. yeah, bro. But but see, but that's what's get, but that's the shit, dude. Like you know your accomplishments, but you're not here fucking sitting on your laurels. You're not patting yourself on the back. You know, you're not beating it too hard. You know what I'm saying? Like because look, like the moment that you get comfortable and shit, that's when shit falls apart. Yeah, uh, our coach always says that. He says you're you're um even when you're the best. He goes, even when you're the best, you're just a stepping stone for the next motherfucker. And I'm just like, oh, shit. It is, though. It is, bro. Everybody's 
everybody's the best until someone puts them on their ass, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like to quote Ric Flair, to be the best, you got to beat the best, man. Woo. You know? And, and I would woo, but I can't. It's okay. Well, I can't hit the. I can't. Hit it. You, well, then I'll do it a woo for ooh, you. Ooh. Woo. There. <laughs> That's my woo for you, my friend. Thank you. Absolutely. And, and yeah. And also, like, I get how you get to that perception because comparatively speaking to the second round, yeah. How could you not feel that, like, that first round went that way? Okay, yeah. You feel me? Like, that's does fair. that make sense? Yeah, that's fair. Because, like, if the fight stayed consistently, like, the first, because, like, the first round could have gone out of the way. Yeah. Frankly. It could have gone 100%. out of the way. 100%. You know? But then, so, you know, dominate in that fashion, and, and right, immediately. Yeah. How could that drop off not seem more steeper than it really is? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a perception thing, bro. Like with most things in life. As, yeah. as, as of the perception that you hold yourself on to, is I need to be better. And absolutely. That's the best fucking perception I have, yeah. man. Just excited, man. Just, just, how could you not excited be? Excited for the future, too. Exactly, bro. So, not even a year and a half in. Come on. I, always, I, I talk a lot of shit. I talk a lot of the gym. Like, so yeah. much so that my, yeah. my boys are like, yo, sh- shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You know? <laughs> I'm like, no. Platanito, they call you, right? Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, if, I got a couple, bro. You got and a I, couple? Oh, shit. I'm like, if this is not even a year and a half in, imagine five. Imagine, imagine five. And then talking about the future. Yep. Where are we going next? So considering that the pattern of my, you know, short career, career but, but it's a career, has been lightweight or light heavyweight, followed by middleweight, followed by welterweight, I'd say it's only right. You know, we got this one, 305. We we love 305. 305 takes care of us. You know, they, they take care of me, you know. Great shows, great cards, yeah. great everything. This is, the, this is my promotion right now, and I want to make sure that, you know, everybody knows that this promotion, you know, this is, this is mine, you know. I want to be, when people think of this, you know, you can, you can think of me. Yeah, at least for right now until yeah. you want to be the face. Yes. So I'm going down to 155. Wow. And you know, right now they they have a champion. I'm 3 and 0. He's 3 and 0. What are we doing? He has a belt. I want that belt. He's a great fighter. He's got great hands, you know. He's got three knockouts, man. Real talk. He's got three knockouts. Wow. I don't know if he's returning back to 305 or not. I I don't if he is, awesome, great. You know, I respect him, but I want that fight and I want that belt. I don't want, I need that belt. Like, I need that belt. You know what I mean? I absolutely know. I what need you mean. it. I need it. I like it. I want to be double champed up, you know? I'm dripping in gold, as they say, huh? Yep. And, you know, 155, I'm going to, I'm going on a little vacation this week, uh, you know, with my girl. So after this week, it's going to be, you know, Strength and conditioning, uh, cardio, just getting back eating out right. Just and I haven't stopped training. Don't think I've stopped training. I've been at the gym. No every, one thinks you stopped training. Every trust me. Every day. No one is doubting. But that. I've been eating a little bit. You know, we yeah. drink. We drink every now and then. And sure, I'll enjoy myself one more week. You know, and th- this week is going to be the only week that I I'm actually taking off of training, and that's just because I won't be in town. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we want to walk around at one seventy five. And then we're going down to 155. We're going to take that belt. And, you know, if he can't do that fight. Whoever they throw in front of me. Whoever they put in front of me is whoever I'm going to take that belt from. Because, you know, I was saying it when I had my flag and I was waiting for the walkout. I was like, oh, you know, I'm I'm trying to get myself riled up. He's standing right there and I'm walking, I'm pacing. I'm like, you think you're going to take the belt from me? And we have like, you know, me and Mark. One of my training partners, we have some, you know, some jokes. So I'm just like, welcome to Chang Gang, motherfucker. Yeah. I said that verbally. <laughs> <laughs> and then what happened? He, he ignored everything. Yeah. <laughs> he ignored it all, yeah. I, you know, I'm sorry. But, like, yeah. when you're just trying to get yourself riled up. Dude, so bro, bro, you're there. You're in it. Yeah, like, but fuck all welcome that. Welcome to the Chang Gang, bro. That welcome to the Chang Gang. I like that. I like that. Yeah, bro, you got to get yourself riled up. Come on, like, look at, look, look at like, every catchphrase ever known. To man, bro, come on, exactly. Come on, look at John Cena. 
This yes, fucking guy know. walks around talking about you can't see me. I mean, I, I'm invisible, bro. You sound like Casper the friend. Worked, but it worked. But it worked. No, it thrived. Millions it fucking of dollars in revenue. Come on, hurts. bro. The champ is here, and now the yeah, champ is here. Double champ soon. Double champ it's soon. It's gonna be f- February, February that, or March. I'm damn me for sure. February, March. I want to say early February. Bro, we'll be there. Everything goes right. Well, hey. You're not, you're not, we'll, we'll be there cheering you on, man. And that's exciting, bro. And it's great that you're setting those goals already. You're not, you're not resting. You're not fucking around about this. I haven't done anything yet, bro. Exactly. I, and it's, yeah. it's funny because to the outsider, even the, the MMA fans, like, you know, you guys follow the sport. Yeah. And this is like, it's cool to you guys. Like, that's an achievement. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's something cool that I can sh- show my kids, but... You know, you have a choice at the end of the day. This is going to be a stepping stone. Yeah, but this is going to be something. You have two choices. You can either show this to I can show this to my kids in the future. Like, hey, look at the belt dad won that one time. Yeah. Or it could be, hey, look at the first belt yeah. I ever won Yeah. on a wall. And that's what I want. I want to be a prize fighter, dude. I, for Pro, sure. Amateur. That's it doesn't matter. Everywhere I go, I want, you know, I, I want to toy with my happy meal. That's what, that's I want to toy with my happy meal. I, I, I like that. Fucking happy meal. I like that. But see, but like, as a fan, that's what gets us so excited. Yeah. Following someone from their first belt. Like, shows only get bigger, bro. Exactly. See, but like, this, see, like, for me personally, as a fan, this has been the first, this has been the first opportunity I've ever heard to, like, I've ever had to meet someone starting off seeing them win their first belt. And then, see, like, we're excited for your accomplishment, but also we're excited to see where it's going to go. You, you feel me like and like that's and like I think that's the other part that people don't talk about the the like the fun of being able to follow someone's career yeah. and then see them yeah like yeah I see like yeah see, like, people are proud of you because you won but also because they know that you're only going to do more like like I'm sure no one that you work with no one in your locker room any of that thinks that this is it no no one that you that knows you probably thinks that this is just the this cap. Is the peak. This the is the peak. Out of here. This is the bottom, bro. Exactly. But see, that's the thing. You can't say that about everybody. Because to some people, no, this would be it. They would yeah. be more than happy being, this is the belt I, I won that I, one time. I know people like that. I, of course you do. You have to. You're in the game, dude. You I have know. to. If everybody, if everybody were special, no one would be. Because that would be the standard. Yeah. That's the thing, man. Because if everybody held themselves to a high standard... The standard to be better would only be higher. Exactly. That's that's what it big is. Plans, man, and it, it's not. It's not even. It's. I mean, I, I yeah. keep going back to them, but it's it's freedom fighters, bro. It's, it's yeah. You know, it's like a. Remember how earlier you said it's like a competition. Yeah, when you're in the gym. Yeah, it is a competition, but it's you take you you take your turns like. Yeah. Like uh, next week, we got three people fighting in one weekend. And it's their turn. All the attention's on them. Like, yeah, it's not. It, no one gives a shit about this in the gym. Yeah, I, of course. I don't feel like like I I don't celebrate this because I don't even. I'm not allowed to celebrate it, even if I wanted to. They'd be like, dude, yeah. shut the fuck up. Yeah, literally, shut that the was, fuck that up. That was like two years ago to yeah. us. You have stepping a week, stones. A week off if you want it. If you want the week, you can have a week off. But if you're not hurt, get the fuck back in there. Like, who, but yeah, yeah. See, but that, see, but that's what I mean by competition. Not that obviously you guys aren't competing against each other for attention or anything like that, yeah, but we, just oh, we are. You, <laughs> we are. Yeah, Everyone's yeah. Fighting every weekend. Yeah, we but always have a fight. But what I'm saying is, no. What you're fighting, uh, I'm, saying, I'm talking about in the gym. Oh, in yeah, the yeah. gym, you're competing to push each other. Oh yeah. That's th- that's what I mean. Like yeah, like dude, like if somebody walked in bragging about a win or a belt or something, they're gonna look at like, yo, you're a fucking asshole. Like, use it for someone else. Who's gonna outbox me when I'm when I'm working with the best you know knuckle boxer? Exactly, in the world? You know exactly. I mean? See, but you're working with them. You feel me? And and that's and that's what it is. But by working with them, you want to get on that level. Who's gonna wrestle me better than Lewis? Who? Who? No one. No Who's one. gonna kick me harder than Mark? No, dude. No. No. No, no one. No one. Bec- exactly. No one. And you're only gonna respect them more for it. Exactly. And then you know that they. Respect you for doing it. I just really hope this guy takes the fight, man. Like a hundred percent from the bottom of my heart, I hope he takes the fight because it's a good matchup, and he's good. It's a great challenge. I'm three zero. He's three zero, and it's a name that's gonna wake me up in the morning. I'm, you know, when I stop and I think about 
why the first round went the way the first round went. I'm not going to say I was looking past him, but I guess in a way I was kind of already thinking, okay, what's going to be next? What's, you know, you, am I going to ahead of yourself? Me? Yes. And, you know, I paid for that in the first round. But, you know, that's why you have coaches to fucking be here. And Bring I'm you back to life. You're yeah. right. You're right. So, you know, this is a name that'll make me do the extra mile, make me whatever. So, you know, I think that the chance to be a, you know, a double champ. Come on. Maybe a year and a half into this endeavor. Come on. Is enough. But that extra push, man. Because it's, it's always like. Just to prove people wrong. Because the first fight I was supposed to lose. Second fight I was supposed to lose. This was a fight that I was actually supposed to win. Like, I feel like a lot of people were expecting me to win this fight. But, you know, I'm not going to lie if I, I told you I didn't like being the underdog. I want, you know, I I like being the asshole. I like being the bad guy. I like, you know, we, you you were there. I saw that place out, dude. Yeah. That, no, Crazy. It, but it was pops, packed. The pops. The, the, the pops, dude. I, dude. I told you before when we started. The, sh the fucking crowd popped, bro. When you walked out there, the crowd popped, and no one could deny that. Yeah, but I like it when um I like hearing the uh, the shift in my last fight when I came out. It felt like a lot of people were cheering for the other guy. Halfway through the fight, it was like starting to shift, and by wow. the end of the fight. My name was being chanted. You had him on your side. And I love that. I would, because this guy sells tickets. Like, I saw him fight live one time. Yeah. I would, you know, I like for him to bring him, his people, me to bring my people. Everyone's there. Everyone's Packed having a house. good time. You know, biggest 305 event, 305 event probably. Ever. Since, yeah, ever. And crazy main event, double champ status. Here we come, man. That's, wow. that's the future. No, hey man, and and honestly, to me, you sound like a sidekick right now. Yeah, because that sounds like a future that could very much come true. Good fight, man. I know it's a great fight, and dude, that will come true because I I need the belt. I don't I don't want it. Yeah, we need it. Even I if mean. it's not him, man, I need it. We but need that I, belt. I'm just saying, I want. You want that specific? You were like that. Well, you were like that fight, but you need the belt. I need the belt. I want the fight. There it is. I think that I'm, straight up. We're on the same. We arrived. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. And man, that's fucking like uh, I'm a fan. Like, like, dude, like I'm a fan of all that shit. Of like, no, like willing to play the side that you need to play. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the thing, bro. Everybody, you know, a lot of people, and I'm sure that in the field that you work in, have movie star syndrome. You know what I'm saying? They think that they're the good guy of the movie. It's their fucking movie. I'm the hero, bro. Guess what? Sometimes, if you're the hero to your story, you're the villain of somebody else's. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I embrace that. No. You have to embrace it. You have to because they're not. What, what's the other option? Why don't they like me? Why? Why aren't they cheering my name? You know, and that, but see, but by embracing it, they cheered. They cheered your fucking name anyway. Yeah, it's goosies. Goosies, right? Honestly, like I don't know where to take it from there. Like I'm just excited for that fight, I'm, and I'm so happy that we had this conversation about like your the path future, there, yeah. the future. You know, we covered a little bit on the past. We, like, and then just the transition to that. Like, it sounds like you had a mental shift throughout that training cap to this point in time. Yeah. Like, our first interview, you were like, w w which is when you announced the fight to begin with. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like you so you sounded excited. Now you sound confident and prepared. Like, That's you, the adjustments, bro. That's dude, like, uh, you, like, you sound like, you sound like, so, like, you sound like you went through it and you learned from it. And now, like, you're a warrior who's trained more. You know what I'm saying? And understand that the, the mistakes you saw in the first fight, you won't see again. And, and I believe that. That's the thing. I, like, I truly believe that. Because I didn't see him in the, I didn't see him in the same fight. Like, fuck, next fight, you're not going to see him. I didn't see him in the, di in the next round. I didn't see them at all. And, like, and, and, there's, no, and there's no reason that your opponent... Like, didn't make their own adjustments as well. I'm, I'm sure because they probably had a similar feeling as well. Yeah. You know? Because, like, to the outside of you, it was a very 50-50 first round, man. So who wants it more, man? Who's, what adjustments are we making? How are we moving forward? And, yeah, I, I think that's a good way to 
leave that conversation there, man. Yeah, absolutely. And and I'm excited for your vacation, by the way, because I know that you know you got to be in there. But fuck that, bro. I th- I think it'll be great to go take a few days, you hang out to, with your lady. You need to recharge. I'm sure. I'm I'm sure that she. I'm sure that it's hard for her too. Yeah, you got. You, That's got to be hard. Yeah, man. I'm, uh, there's a lot of nights I come home 11:30 and she's already asleep. I'm like, fuck. You know, and like you're you're all banged up. You're fucking tired. And, and so that has to be hard too, man. You gotta understand the gym is small, bro. We don't have, you know, giant fucking. We don't have yeah. one of those facilities you, you, that a lot of. You these don't have the UFC facility. No. Yeah, Apex Center or whatever the fuck they call it. No. Yeah. You know, but some of the 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 bigger name gyms like you know American yeah. Top Team. Yeah, yeah. All of those. Pants crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Have these very nice big facilities. We have it's on the second. Fl- there's a convenience store. Sure. Stairs. And then it's you guys up there. And then it's us. Yeah, that's and it's fine. small and it's blue and it's hot as hell in there, dude. And it's intimate and personal. Yes, sir. But <laughs> it gets, the the blue gets to me sometimes. Really? Yes. When you're in there doing tour days. Oh, my God. Monday through Saturday. And yeah. it's just like, because it's, it's really like maybe two of these, three of these rooms, if that, man. Wow. I'd say two, nah, two and a half, whatever. But it's, you know, it's it's compact. So you know, Mickey will be. It'll be nice for a week. It'll be nice to be in some open space for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, man, that's exciting, bro. Just and reset, you know, reset, recharge, refocus, bro. Come Recalibrate back. because because you're not because you know that when you get back here, you're gonna be fucking ready. Man, I can't. I can't wait. I can't wait, bro. Thank you again for coming on and talking about the Any, journey. Anytime, bro. Well, so obviously, I don't have to explain the rules to you because we did. We've done this already once before. It is time for ATI, not UTI. One time for sure. Let's, John. Do you have the questions ready, my good friend, sir? Yeah, yeah. I've got a couple. So, uh, as you guys know, ATI answer the internet. We just give you guys questions. You guys both answer them. Uh, so I guess the first question, let's do it like this. How many times can you eat the same meal before you get sick of it? Let's go with the Jacob. I was meal prepping for this whole fight. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, so by when did you get sick of it? Like three days, dude. It was chicken for lunch, fish for dinner. And then 15 you 15 Brussels sprouts, a third of a sweet potato. A third. I like it. And then you Fuck were. Fuck that. And how long do you meal prep for? A week. I'm lazy. So, like, by the time I get to the last day, it's like, yeah, chicken's dry. Chicken's, yeah. Um, no, uh, but I mean, like, like, how long is your dieting? Like, oh, two months. Two months. Two months. So, fucking two months every day. Chicken, fish, baby. Chicken, fish, your 15 Brussels sprouts, one, one, one third of a sweet potato. Yep. Jesus. For two, so, three days, but he kept going for two months, bro. Yeah, probably. Wait, like imagine it if it's good, like pizza. Even then, by the next day, I'll be over it. Nah, not, nah, nah, dude. Not like the next day, I have nah, bro. Like my, my palate's terrible. Five like, guys, bro, bro. Like I could take five guys every day of the week. Yeah, with a smile on my face, wink, wink. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay. Wait, you guys are talking about the food place? Yeah, bro, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, but all jokes aside, bro, honestly, like, probably, like, yeah, like, three, four days, but, like, I don't know, like, maybe Chinese food, I guess. I don't know. Like, I just can't think of something that I would want to eat all the time. I can do five guys, man. Well, wait, yeah. the, the question is how long could you eat the same food before you get sick of it? I know, yeah, like, that's what I'm saying, like, two wait, to three wait, days. days or, like, no, like how, just how long? One sitting. Oh, oh, one sitting? Is that what you mean? No, it just says how... Why are these questions always fucking like this? Vague, yeah. oh, right? Vague. No, this this is Raul's fault. Raul takes this to Your a whole Your own other perceptions. Level. This is <laughs> not <Yeah>. the question. <laughs> okay. I, I, I'm, so, I'm sorry if I'm deeper than your average kiddie pool. My how, bad. I'm, a, I'm with you. It's him. No, no, no. It, 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 it's, uh, it's my fault? Her. No, no, no. I'm with you. Oh, okay. Her. I, I understood what you understood. You feel me? I just read these these questions. Okay, let's just... <laughs> looking at the words. Let's just yeah. discard them. Let's just discard them. <laughs> Fuck it. Don't eat then. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would you go hungry? Would Flanagan's. You, that, you know what? Fuck it. I could eat Flanagan's every day. Yeah, I could. Okay, okay. there. Red see? Rolls. I think that Ooh. we solved the question here. Flanagan's. Nice. No, you can't say it like... Flanagan's. Flanagan's. Would you rather be stuck 
in Jurassic Park or Jumanji? Jurassic Park. Yeah? Yeah. The council agrees. Jurassic, yeah, Jurassic Park. Park. Here's why. Jumanji, if you watch the movies, you notice that, like, they get stuck in there. Wait, 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 wait. First Jumanji or? All of them combined. Or the one with, um. All of them. The Rock. No, not the one. Robin with Williams. Them. Yeah, yeah, the first one. The first yeah, one. the first that's one that's or the, the ones with the rock because they're different. No, are they different? Are, are, I I didn't watch the the latest one. Let Let's go with the first one. Let's go with I the first couple. It's a it's a. I didn't order. finish. I don't really remember the first one like that. Okay, I don't so even remember the new uh, one. Okay, so let me break it down. Okay, so, okay, so the first one. You said Jumanji comes into the real world. Y- y- so kind of. So let me explain. So Robin Williams plays the game as a kid. Whatever the fuck. Great, cool. So then somehow he gets stuck in the game. He gets stuck in the game okay. for 26 years. And then some other kids play the game, open it up. Robin Williams and some animals from, from the game come out and stuff like that. Oh, You feel me? So how do the new ones go? How Do, like, are, do they get stuck in the game? They get sucked into the game, and the only way to get back into the real world is by beating the game. Yeah, see? That sounds fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but if they die in the game... Exactly. Jurassic Park... They laughed. <laughs> they they laughed. Some of them. <laughs> Bro, if you die, you die. But sure, but they left. They weren't like they left. Yeah, no, I just like And then they went back and built a whole fucking a, mu- a, a whole fucking theme park out of it. Pterodactyls are dope. Pterodactyls are dope. I that's, agree. That's my sense. Ex- like except when you question. That's except, except when they're eating you, you know? That's <laughs> just my stance. Even if he eats me, it's just Fuck it. You know what? At least a pterodactyl that ain't me, right? It's dope. Yeah. <laughs> Gun to your head. You have to pick one food for your girlfriend to chew up and spit into your mouth. Oh, that's not what hard. What are you picking? You yeah. don't need to put a gun to my head for that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Breaking news. Jacob likes to be fed like a baby bird. So what would it be? Uh, f- what food do you want spat in your mouth? I would. I would assume it needs to be something fresh, like a fruit. Right? A fruit? You know it what? It would need to be a fruit. Damn, you know what? I think you're on to something. Yeah, like it can't be a cheese I was bread. here like, okay, where are we going with this? I was thinking bread. Nah, bread, then it's already soggy. I know, but like. Because, yeah. you know. Maybe, maybe, I think maybe something hard. What about something hard? Mm. Like a hard candy. Mm. Oh, no, that could, yeah, solid. Like yeah, a, you know like what I'm saying? Breaker. It's like yeah, like something really solid. She's just throwing like little pieces. Pieces. It's just pieces at that point. Pebbles into your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So like I always say, like a Jolly Rancher, like a bunch of Jolly Ranchers or something. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, These questions like, are light work. <laughs> I, I mean, at least we, we don't ha- we don't ha- we don't have a bunch of dick questions. Like last time. <laughs> that was got a little hard, right? He did. <laughs> Especially because I knew my mom was going to watch it. I was like, fuck. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, your mom could watch this one. <laughs> if your TV the next question is going to be... Uh, <laughs> yeah, right? Like, he's not finding one on purpose I for I just it. found... No, I'm just kidding. If uh, your TV remote didn't work and you were sick and you couldn't get up all day, what channel would you put on for the entire day? ESPN. Yes, yeah, literally. That, that, that's what I was thinking. I was like, fuck it. All right, how about I can't be ESPN? All right. Well, I don't think the internet said that. So <laughs> I don't think the internet. Said I just need. I, I, need, I need. That some, wasn't vague. I need some sort of think, <laughs> some sort of thought process, bro. <laughs> All these questions can't be that easy. Sports. Okay, uh, bro. You know what? Um, I guess if they're that easy, we're killing them. The yeah, dude. The like, I guess like the internet could suck a fucking dick at that point, right? <laughs> um, the new name of the podcast is "Fuck You Internet." <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the internet, right? <laughs> 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 I just want, okay, you know what, look, fuck the internet, and I just want, like, a little caption here, John, just for you, fuck the internet. <laughs> Debunking. Debunking the internet. Uh, Keep your questions. I have the answers, right? Um, so what are the answers? What are the answers that are not ESPN, you said, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Can I count Netflix as a channel? No. Okay. I'm going with the Paramount channel. The Paramount channel. The Paramount channel. That formerly known as Spike. Yeah. Bro, they were playing. Oh, I know it's Spike. They're you know what? Batman TNT. Fuck that. Too many? No. Uh, I like TNT. The commercials are too long. I like True. TNT. True. Commercials are too long everywhere. Yeah, but, you know, that's what you get with channels. What what channel does not li- ha- does not have long commercials? No. Have you ever tried to watch a, a movie on, like, FX? Yeah, no, of course. For sure. I, I, that's yeah, terrible. I agree. They turn an hour and a half movie into a four-hour showing. This yeah. guy's... <laughs> 
You know what though? See, look, one old channel had never had commercials like that, but it's not what I would watch at this point. The Disney Channel. Yeah. My, they never had they fucking commercials. Fast. You know, it was just a trailer for for a show coming up or a movie. Right so, back into the some some fucking asshole, you know, with a magic wand or whatever. And now you're and on a, Disney and Channel. A, and a 1999 commercial for a toy. You know what I'm saying? And we move on with our, but like a Disney toy though, from f- from a movie. Of course. Yeah, it was a Jake Paul action figure, and Jake Paul was the one doing the little wand thing. You know, <laughs> dude, Jake, bro, there really is a video of Jake Paul doing the wand thing. Remember, he was a Disney kid at one hey, point J- in time. Jacob, if I can ask, what do you think about uh, uh what do you think about Jake Paul? He's got me, bro. He can. I'm. I'm. I'm not gonna say I'm a fan because he's. You know, he's kind of a dick, but he's entertaining. Anything with his name, I will click on. And that's fair. He works yeah. hard, yeah. hard as fuck. He's. No, he does work hard as fuck. I just. Respect. I remember the last time you were here. Uh, you guys spoke about uh, uh, the TikTok YouTuber stuff, and I mean I, that's why I ask. That's. Oh, no, anyone on that TikTok versus YouTube card still gets knocked the fuck out. But, you know. Jake Paul specifically. No, no, Jake Paul, he's, I'm a fan, 100%. Earned, like, he's Un- earned his cred. Uh, yes. Yeah. The, the Tyron Woodley yes. really did it for me. Yeah. Yep. Like, that fight did it for me. At, at this you point. gotta understand, this guy came into the game with millions of dollars to, to hire the best trainers worldwide. Mm-hmm. And young. Mm-hmm. He's so young. Yeah. Yeah, and he's he's already been doing it. Four four years, I think. Yeah, I uh, didn't. I didn't know that. All right, all right. I just read that somewhere like the other day. I was like, four years. What the fuck? <laughs> four years gives you a lot of time. All right. So, but true TV, true, true TV. Pra- you know, practical jokers. You, you know, and, and cops too. Cops. Ooh, that's a good. That's a that's a good pick. You guys right. like practical jokers? I I like it. I watch it. Like nah. I'm not a fan. I don't know. I love that. We I used to. Know. We used to. Uh, Fat Jake is what I call him. Six sure. in sixth grade, I was like, "Yeah, tall, super fat." Sure. So Fat Jake had like three friends, and we would uh we would make our own version of Impractical Jokers because that's when the show came out. It was like you know hot. It was brand new, yeah. and me and like three buddies in middle school would do that every morning. We'd just walk around, pretend there was the camera filming us, and we'd start daring each other to do stupid things. That's awesome. No, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it is. <coughs> no, yeah, it is. Not I got your friends. Dude, I got suspended like three I times. got suspended. Okay, no. Okay, well, I don't know what you guys were dating each other to do. I was thinking, I was like, yo, go like cross the street really quick as that car is coming or like, nah. No, it was like, dude, sneak into the principal's office before oh my school God. starts. No. It was, no. dude, you see that eighth grader over there? And then a nod. And I was like, what do you want me to do? And dude, you know how in culinary class you needed to bring cooking wine? Drink it. Like no. <sighs> Yeah, just stupidity. Fat Jake was a menace. Fat Jake <laughs> was a menace. <laughs> no. Then I like then I like that you, you do that. I also call different past versions of myself by different names. <laughs> Would you give up one inch of your dick for six inches of height or vice versa? I'll give up an inch of my dick for six inches of height. I don't want to be six six. Fuck that. I'm good where I'm at. Bro, I'm I'm five nine. Oh wait. So so you get six inches of height, but you have to take out one, one inch, inch of your dick. Yeah, one inch of your dick. Or you could take out one inch of your dick. You can get one inch of dick, but you'd go uh you'd get shorter. So you would be five six. Dude, I feel comfortable saying I have an inch of dick to sacrifice if it came down to it. You'd be what, six three? I would be six three. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We'll still be okay. And I, I like where I'm at. No, Is for that, like, I, for okay. Well, bro, <laughs> no one's gonna come chop off your dick, dude. I promise. <laughs> no, like I wouldn't. I don't want to be an inch sh- short. You, I wouldn't know. I don't want to be. Would you rather be six six and you lose an inch of your dick? No, I, who or wants to be six six? I don't play basketball. I suck at basketball. Or would okay? Then you want to be five six, with an uh, uh, an inch larger. No, I'm happy where I'm at. <laughs> well, that's that wasn't the question. Oh, yeah. but I have to. Yeah. You have to, it's, yeah. It's, oh, yeah. It's, would you give up a one inch of your dick for six inches of height? Oh, then I B, guess I'd give up an inch of my dick to, yeah. to be six six. Yeah, okay. All right. and sure. then we'll see how, where my where your basketball career takes off. Yeah, dude, like your basketball career is gonna take off somewhere. Maybe, maybe I could. Uh, Bro, you could be the fighting basketball player. No, nah, dude, you could you could squeeze your way into heavyweight if anything. Six six. God. Bro, 
Yo, you, you'll be a mean heavyweight, yeah, dog. My brother's a heavyweight wrestler, Look, dude. Come on, bro. I do like I, power, bro. Six six. Yeah, dude. <sighs> How tall is he? Got some. Got some size. Oof. Man. How tall? He's like six, six three, six four, right? Six three. I want to say six four, maybe. Dang, dude. He's a big dude. Big That'll dude. do it. All right. So that's, that's a big fucking dude. It's fucking terrifying. All right. So specimen. Specimen. Yeah. Uh, a genetic jackhammer, if you will. Debate the internet. Which celebrity would you most want to see in a sex tape? Scarlett Johansson. Nah. Sure. Hey. Have you seen that movie of her and, and uh, Kylo Ren? Adam Driver? Oh, Adam Wedding Driver. Story? Yeah. Marriage Story? She looks yeah. all crazy. Now. Sure, but that's one Sure, but that's one scenario. She, she won't in this fake sex tape. I can guarantee that. In the fake sex tape, does she need to look like Black Widow? She doesn't need to, but it's not a problem. Is her hair blonde or orange? Answer the question. Blonde or orange? Blonde, I'll take it. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> 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 um, I'm going Wonder Woman, dude. Wonder Woman's fire. 100%. Gal Gadot Gal is fire. Gadot. Gal Gadot is very fire. I'm a fan. Huge fan. My girlfriend hates it. He despises it. I I mean, you know what, though? But I like your support. She thinks that you're going to go pull Wonder Woman. So <laughs> that, that shows the respect that your girlfriend has for you. Dude, we, we, watched one, we, we saw the second Wonder Woman at home on HBO Max. And like, HBO Max is fucking great, huh? Amazing. Bro. Yeah. Anytime, like, any kind of scene where she looked good in, I could feel the eyes. The eyes? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Start looking around, is it? That's that that that's sweet. All right, second choice though, behind behind Scarlett Johansson. Damn, I, damn, I need a second choice now. Oh, fuck. What would your second choice be, Jacob? Yeah, 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 Jacob. I like said it so I would have time to think. Okay. No, I, 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 bro, we didn't, we didn't have to have a second choice. No, we didn't need to do this, but now we do. Expect the unexpected. I, yeah, right. All right, no, I, wait, we're we're here. Second choice. Wait, homeboy, did, what, what's, what's I, your I don't first have a second. Yeah, so yeah John, a, what's your choice? Hiding behind the camera and the questions. <laughs> Uh, damn, uh, that's, that's a good, uh, you only have the questions, but no answers. Is that it? Yeah, no, I, I didn't, <laughs> I, didn't I didn't think I'd have to, I didn't think I'd have to answer. Um, I, wrong. expect unexpected. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't remember her name, but, uh, the, the girl that was, uh, the girl that was in war dogs that she gets married to miles Teller. Oh, um, she's like Cuban. That's um, her name is her uh, name is Anna. Their armas. Yeah. Anna, their armas. Yes, there are There you go. She's super fire. Or or Khaleesi, Khaleesi. From Bro, I was thinking about her too, but I didn't want to be basic. Yeah, no, I'm good with that, dude. I'm Who good is that? Basic. Khaleesi from Game of Thrones or em- Emily Clark? Demelia Clark. Demelia Clark. There you go. Ooh, Bella Thorne. Ooh, okay. Bella Thorne. Yeah, that does it for you. Or <laughs> I don't like. The, I don't like the judgment. There was no judgment. They're nah, just. Uh, yeah. No, nah. everyone watching and listening felt nah. the judgment. No, nah, bro, just okay. So that's what does the it for third you, wall right now. bro. Fourth wall. Fourth, fourth wall. The first wall is you. I forgot what the second one is. The third wall is you and me, and then the fourth wall is breaking total judgment <laughs> reality. Um, fourth wall. So, second uh, choice. The pressure's on me. It's all falling apart. Um. <laughs> Is that you or him? No, that was both. Me. Okay, heard. Uh, I had one, but his is. Uh, <laughs> fuck! I don't know. 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 The don't Rock. Know. <laughs> the Rock. Right? You know what? Kelly Kelly. From WWE. From WWE. Yeah, Kelly Kelly from WWE. Damn. Absolutely. Knowing Raul, I thought he was gonna pick Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins. No. <laughs> that guy has doesn't doesn't Seth Rollins already have like a flex suit? I no, be no not a sex tape, but like he got He's leaked. Uh, w- w- what did he get leaked? I was like, wait, like where? a picture of him holding it. Send me the link. Junk. Good for. I mean, sure, it wouldn't surprise me. I don't know. <laughs> they because they acknowledged it like on TV. R- well, R- it was like a jab, like you know. Are, are you talking about Xavier Woods? No, that was crazy. That was crazy that as was fuck. Crazy. Wait, 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 wait. What happened with this? Xavier Woods and Paige had a sex tape. Fire. Got or super leaked. Four. Or, yeah. And then a fifth one with another dude. Yeah, with Alberto Del Rio, right? No, with yeah. Brad Maddox. Brad Maddox, you go, Paige. Uh, <laughs> All right. All right. Next question. What's the weirdest thing you've jerked off to? Jesus Christ. 
and we're here. Um, I had I had to had to tie it. Go yeah. ahead. All right, First bro. I would say like crazy VIP orgy. Like it's like I don't know the people in public stuff. Okay. I feel like that's super weird watching like group sex in public. Like 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 during I'll be like okay. And then after, I'll be like, what the fuck am I watching? Funny enough, I think that uh, one of the things that I screamed out during your fight, Jacob, was that this guy watches nugget porn. You did scream out. I, ha- I have that on video somewhere. No way. Yes. That yeah, was no. you? Dude, yeah, that was yeah. me. No, no. <laughs> that, that, was, that was him. Like I said, we were screaming <laughs> all types of obscenities. We were just feeding obscenities into this guy. I w- Didn't we answer this question last time? We def- I feel like we might have. Didn't I do the story of like the Menchies and the, the you, 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 TV? Yes, the Menchies on the TV. Yes. Yes. Did. All right. So fired. He, so yeah, question. Fired. So I. So I guess the answer is from Jacob. Fuck your question. All right. So would last one. <laughs> would you rather go, go to watch heaven? the last one? <laughs> <laughs> the answer. Plug. Would you rather go to heaven? Would you rather go to heaven or become a ghost on earth after you die? You know that's a really good question. You really don't know what heaven's gonna be like. Yeah, no, I'd rather go to heaven. Yeah. Really? I'll Reunite be a ghost with my dog and my grandma. You don't know that. I. At least my grandma. Come on now. Like just because I'm um, the not the dog. I mean, all dogs go to heaven allegedly, but I don't know Charlie Sheen voiced that dog too, so I don't know how much I believe that. Oh, what's that show called? Uh, Myth. Mythbusters. Yeah. All right. No, fact or cap. Fact. fact uh, what? That's a show. It's like a a trend online. It's like welcome to fact or cap, where we test trends to see if they're fact or cap. I feel like that's just a show. It's like Mythbusters, yeah. but like fat. It's like straight to the point instead yeah. of. So, fact or cap? Sounds very tw- 21st century. Yeah, it is. It is, right? Yeah. Dang, imagine the Mythbusters. Is heaven real? Let's find out. Off the Oh, <laughs> uh, no, man. Uh, I'll stay on Earth being a ghost of fucking w- w- watching people make stupid life mistakes and just laughing at them. Nah, dude. Absolutely, bro. I'll just float all around the world, yeah. hanging out. And you need companionship. Those bro. Crazy. You, That's how you become an asshole when you start haunting people and shit. Bro, fuck it. I, I'll have joy. What brings you joy? Being an asshole? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As a ghost, sure. <laughs> Sold. Sold. There it is. All right. We're all set with the questions. We're all done. Unless you guys want more. One last one. You one can't last end one. It on that. Yeah, yeah. you got to prepare right. us. This yeah. will be the last all right. question. All right. all right, let me see. And then after this question, we can all have another, you know, around. All right, sounds good. Some joy. That's a around of joy. Let's see what I can. Let's see what I can muster up here. What? You, you no. <laughs> <laughs> you did this. <laughs> he, he's gonna find I'm the not best. I'm talking co- about the question. You said I said round, and you said round of joy. <laughs> no. Would you rather have to turn off every sports game at the two minute mark? Or only be able to watch from the two minute mark to the end. That's the easiest question. Yeah, let's see. No, no, like he means like the last two minutes. Yeah, so you can only watch the last two minutes of a game, or you can watch everything up until the. So last like of a game. every sporting event, if you pick two the last minutes. two minutes. Okay, okay. So every sporting event you're ever gonna watch. Wait a second. No, 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 no. That can't be. You can't use that for UFC and stuff. Fighting. No, no, no. I mean, like, football or basketball and stuff. Last two minutes. That's the best part anyway. It is the best part. It is the best part. But damn, like, that's it. Like, every basketball game you watch is only two minutes long now. It's like watching highlights on YouTube. It's it's literally just watching the highlights on YouTube, right? Whatever. I don't know. And those two minutes with all the timeouts and shit turn into... No, there's definitely... Yeah. No, th- th- there's definitely yeah. You know, with with all the timeouts these they days and the all the replays and the fouls, bump. it's a half hour now. Fuck it, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. So Jacob, it was fucking great having you on, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, uh, oh, wait. You have more? What was your question? Uh, what was your answer, Earl? We agreed. We agreed. Oh, yeah. Agreed? Yeah. The council right. agrees on everything. The council agrees. The council agrees. Is that like that should be like your thing? Like once you get bigger, like then like you have like people that like you're training and shit. That's it. Th- th- this is the council. Your nickname is Jacob the Counselor. No, Jacob. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't have a nick. Well, I got gym nicknames, but yeah, no. But I'm saying as, as like fighting, it's Jacob Hunter Diaz because that's my middle name. Oh, really? That's yeah. your, that. That's a cool middle that's name. That's why my my Instagram at plug J H D. Oh, okay. J H D underscore M M A. Honestly, I never questioned it. I was just like, okay, Most Jacob. People don't. I, what I, does I, the H stand for? And I'm like, I, I never questioned it. I was just like, okay. H. I did wonder what it, what it stood for. Jacob 
Hunter, Hunter Diaz. That's a dope ass name. Though. That's a dope fucking. That's a strong that's fucking like a, name. A strong name. That's a strong name. Uh, it's like, yeah, Jacob Hunter Diaz. All right. Well, we've had. I'm sorry. I have to say it every time now. We have Jacob Hunter Diaz on the show today. <laughs> We <laughs> welterweight champion, welterweight champion of three hundred five promotions, man, and the first of many to come. Yeah, man, hundred percent. Congratulations, Appreciate you guys. That, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, guys. The so the hunted. I hope watch the hunter today. So please promote promote yourself. Handles Instagram, everything. Twitter. Throw it out there. I don't have Twitter. Too no. complicated. It is too complicated. Yeah. In my opinion, too. Um, but yeah, like I said, the Instagram's jhd underscore mma. Follow Freedom Fighters MMA on Instagram too. That's my family. Uh, you know, th- those are my brothers that uh, bleed, sweat with me every day to make stuff like this happen. Uh, follow Three Hundred Five Fights. They're the ones that give us the opportunities to to go out there and and show what we can do. You know, without them, all the hard work is for what. So, big shout out to all these people. Big shout out to the sponsors. Uh, Talk about it, man. Soon restaurant coming real soon. Uh, yes, sir. Warrior Fit and Embark. So, yeah, man, that's it. that's it. Thank you guys for having me on. No. I, I appreciate it as always, and I'll see you guys, Jacob. After ab- the next one, Jacob. Absolutely, bro. Thank you for coming on. We're definitely we're definitely gonna do this again at some point. After the next no, one. no, no. At this point, like we like bi weekly. <laughs> like yeah, <laughs> like fuck it. Like we'll give you a key. Fuck it. It's okay. <laughs> But you guys yeah. need another person on the on the ones and twos right next to you. No. What we're going to do is we're going to make it a what are we going to do? A joint? We're going to we're going to make it a You ever seen casting couch? I've seen casting we're couch. We're going to get a casting couch so I can sit next to you on every podcast. And that's <laughs> it. And and that's it. And it's now your podcast. Fuck you. You won the championship, you won the podcast too. I just work here. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding but again, thank you so much, John. Thank, thank you again, John, from Coach, from Coach Ancolas wow. for being on the ones and twos. And thank you guys for watching. This doesn't happen without you. This has been knowledge. Nonsense. And reasoning. Wow. And make sure to check us out on Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube. Th- absolutely. Thank you, Jonathan. See, that is what we keep them around for. <laughs>